Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In the last video we talked about how the photoelectric effect works, and we talked about the equations involved. Today we are going to be looking at some practice problems. So just to give a very quick recap of what we talked about, for certain metals, red light, which is low energy, may not be enough energy to eject an electron, while blue light, which is a higher energy, oftentimes will have enough energy to eject an electron. It depends on the metal. Now, if it does eject an electron, we have this very nice equation, K equals E minus W, where K is the kinetic energy, which we all know and love from physics one. E is the energy of the photon, which can be found using this equation, energy equals H times F, where H is Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th. And F is the frequency of the light, which sometimes we need this equation, F equals C, which is the speed of light, three times 10 to the eighth, divided by the wavelength lambda, and that will get us our frequency. And then the last variable here, W, that's the work function. This number depends on the metal, and basically the higher the number for the work function, the harder it is to eject an electron. And one more thing I will say, the minimum frequency to eject an electron, this is known as the cutoff frequency. In other words, if the frequency is any lower, any lower energy, then you're not going to eject electrons. Any higher, and electrons start flying off. So now let's look at some examples. So here's the first one. A certain metal has a work function of 3.5 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. What is the cutoff frequency for this metal? So first, I'm going to set up the equation. K equals E minus W. When we start talking about cutoff frequencies, one thing I forgot to mention, that is going to be the frequency where K equals zero. So what I'm going to say is zero equals E minus W, add W to both sides, you get the work function equals E. So in other words, the work function is equal to the energy of the photon. And that's what the cutoff frequency is all about. So the work function we said was 3.5 times 10 to the minus 19th equals E, which I know E is equal to H times F, where H is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th times the frequency. This isn't so bad. Just divide both sides by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th, and we will get a frequency of 5.28 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And there we go. That's it. Are there harder problems? with the photoelectric effect? I mean, a little harder, but that's basically it. Here's another one. When blue light, wavelength 400 nanometers, is shined, is, is that the right word? It doesn't matter. Is shined on a metal with a work function of four times 10 to the minus 19th joules, what is the kinetic energy of the ejected electron? And then what is the electron's speed? So first we start out with K equals E minus W. We have W, it's four times 10 to the negative 19th. Now we need to find E, the energy. So energy can be found by using E equals H times F, but we don't know the frequency. So actually first we gotta find the frequency. F equals C over lambda, where C is the speed of light, three times 10 to the eighth, divided by the wavelength, which is 400 nanometers. Remember nanometers is 10 to the minus ninth. So I take three times 10 to the eighth, divided by 400 times 10 to the minus ninth, and I'll get a frequency of 7.5 times 10 to the 14th, and the units are hertz. And now I'm gonna plug that into the energy equation. Energy equals H, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th, times the frequency, which we just said is that number. So I'll plug that in my calculator now, and I will get an energy. E equals 4.97 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. And once I have that energy, now all I need to do is say the kinetic energy is equal to the energy, which we just said 4.97 times 10 to the negative 19. Remember that is the energy of the photon. And then minus the work function, which I gave at the beginning, I said it was four times 10 to the minus 19. So this is just going to be K equals 0.97 times 10 to the minus 19. Or you can also write this as 9.7 times 10 to the minus 20, if you wanna get proper scientific notation here. And so that's our kinetic energy 
in joules. I don't care which answer you like, they both work. That's it for the kinetic energy. And now if I want to find the velocity, well remember, kinetic energy just equals one half mv squared, which then begs the question, what's the mass? Well, it's the mass of an electron, which we all know after looking at a table or an equation sheet, is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So then I'll just plug that in. Kinetic energy, 9.7 times 10 to the minus 20 equals 1 half times mass, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 times V squared. So first I'll multiply the 1 half times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. So left side didn't change. The right side is now 4.55 times 10 to the minus 31 V squared. Then I'll divide both sides by that 4.55 number and I'll get 2.13 times 10 to the 11th. That is V squared. And then we just take the square root of both sides and our final velocity for this electron will be 4.61 times 10 to the fifth and that's meters per second. And if you wanna know how fast that is, remember the speed limit of the universe, in other words, you cannot move faster than the speed of light is three times 10 to the eighth. So we're pretty close to the speed of light. Not quite there, but we're pretty close. And so that's very exciting. Now let's look at one more. Photons with an energy of 1.78 EV electron volts, we'll talk about that in a minute, are fired at a metal plate. Electrons eject with 1.62 times 10 to the minus 19th joules of kinetic energy. What is the work function of the metal? So this time we say that K equals E minus W and I'm solving for W this time. Now we already have kinetic energy. It's 1.62 times 10 to the minus 19th. Energy I give us in electron volts. We need to know how to convert from electron volts to joules because there is a conversion factor. The conversion factor is actually the exact same thing as the charge on an electron or proton. It's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules in one electron volt which means when I plug this conversion in my calculator, I will get an energy of 2.85 times 10 to the minus 19th. That is my energy of the photon, it's E. So then 1.62 times 10 to the minus 19th equals E, which is 2.85 times 10 to the negative 19th minus W. This one was easy. I just need to add W to both sides and then subtract the 1.62 to both sides. Now I'll get a final answer for the work function of 1.23 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And that is the work function of this metal. So I hope you all learned something new today. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.